Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. Welcome back to our weekly video show. For today's video, I've got something a little different for you. So over the past few months, we've been working really closely with one of my favorite riding instructors, Wendy Murdoch. And we've been working with Wendy to create a new online course, the Effortless Rider course. But until that is ready, I wanted to pull out a little clip to share with you today. Because of all the filming that we've done so far, I think this has been one of my favorite clips and something that was really eye-opening even for me. So this little clip is on riding the rising trot. And it's gonna be taught differently than probably you've ever seen before because Wendy teaches how we should really move correctly when we're riding the posting trot, but she's teaching it using two skeletons. For the rising trot, many people brace against the stirrup, which pushes the hip back in the saddle, and then they have to lead with the chest to try and get out of the saddle. But they're now on the forehand, they load the horse's weight onto the forehand, and every stride, they come back into the saddle and crash into the back of it, which is gonna really, could bother the horse's back after repeated rising trot strides. When you brace the lower leg forward, the same thing happens. The femur pushes back and up into the hip, and so you have to try and get over the femur, but that pressure back from the stirrup is blocking that hip from swinging forward up, so I have to lead with the chest. You'll notice that the head comes forward. And then we get yelled at to sit up straight and we try to hinge back so that now we are more upright, but we still have the same problem because we're on the forehand and we put the weight on the horse's forehand. The solution to rising trot is a swing motion. Many people hear the words up, down, up, down to rise the trot. But if I strictly do up, down, I'm just going up and down in a vertical plane. And so I push myself up from my stirrups and I fall back into the saddle. When we ride it as a swing motion, we are never unstable on the horse. We are always in control of the motion and we can regulate the horse's trot through our rising trot motion. The swing motion is when we think of leading with the bottom of the zipper and coming back. My weight transfers to the thighs. Instead of just the stirrup, I support myself and come back down. So I swing up, down, up, down, up, down. I hope you enjoyed this short clip from Wendy's new course. Now, we would love to hear from you. After watching this, how have you been posting the trot and how are you gonna think about it differently? We're gonna have more videos available from Wendy's course coming very soon. So to make sure that you get access to all of those videos, and also so that you never miss another one of our weekly video shows, go to crktrainingblog.com and sign up there for email updates.